Hello everyone, welcome to Lakeside Live. Here on Lakeside Live, we talk about what goes on in Lakeside Junior High School in Springdale, Arkansas. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at New Year's resolutions, the effects of vaping, mental health, a championship robotics team, and a historic basketball season. Up first is the effects of vaping. Lots of teenagers today are vaping because vaping is safer than cigarettes. Lakeside health teacher Jasmine Carter also says that vaping is dangerous too. Young people's brains are not fully developed, so anytime that you inhale toxic chemicals, you're altering your brain's chemistry, which can lead to um, all kinds of brain diseases and other health risks. So it's very dangerous, especially for teenagers. And vaping is just as addictive as cigarettes. There are chemicals inside of the uh, liquid that's inside of vape cartridges that can lead to addiction. Again, it, it, it alters your brain chemistry. The chemicals in the vape juice can cause just as much damage as cigarette smoke. Things into your lungs, it can um, affect the way your lungs function. A big thing with vaping is popcorn lung, which means that it uh, leaves scars on your lung from just in, inhaling all of the chemicals that can be found inside of vapes. Lakeside nurse LaShara Johnson says that there's other issues to worry about. It causes some problems with your blood pressure. It can cause problems with your heart. It can make you feel nervous and jittery. Um, and once you start, it's really, really hard to stop. And if you're in need of any assistance, you can always reach out to Ms. Carter or Ms. Johnson. For Lakeside Live, I'm Anthony Capacho with Sam C. Moncada. Some students from the Lakeside East program won a big award this year, and they hope their project saves lives. Caitlin Spurlock, Guadalupe Granados, and Zane Turner are working on an East project that will help predict when floods will happen. The project was entered into a contest called Samsung Solve for Tomorrow. They were the Arkansas State Award winners receiving $12,000. We decided to work on this project because one of our classmates died in a flash flood. They also heard about this happening in other areas. And then this summer we heard about it happening in Bentonville. A boy and his mom was swept away into a drain and drowned. So we're realizing more and more how much of a problem this is. Their teacher, Jamie Stallings, helped the students with this project. Um, but for the most part, this has been all student-led. Um, they're working on the sensor right now, and, and there's no way I can do what they're doing. We're getting really close to being able to install the sensor into a drain so we can start collecting data. And once we get it tested and calibrated, um, we've already talked to some folks that we can put it um, out. It's been a really fun experience getting closer to them and really going out into the community and learning more about the problems we have here in Northwest Arkansas. Congrats to Guadalupe Granado, Zane Turner, and Kaylin Spurlock. From Lakeside Live, I am Anahi Gomez and Roxana Cruz. Lots of people had many New Year's resolutions. Here are some New Year's resolutions of Lakeside teachers and students. Today we asked teachers and students from Lakeside Junior High School about their New Year's resolution. But here's the question, will they keep their New Year's resolution or not? My New Year's resolution is to be financially stable. I think of things that I kind of want to do more of and I try to do them. So for me it's going back to the gym more. Just be more intentional about my food that I eat instead of just rushing and eating things that aren't good for me. To get better at football. To spend more quality time with my family. I think some people have given up but I think people are still like motivated to follow their New Year's resolution. Is it, I think there's a stat somewhere that says the majority of them break them within the first three weeks or something like that. So I would say no. I think people put a lot of pressure on, I gotta do this hard and go every single day. And to me it's more about making choices that I can easily implement. So far, so far we're making some good progress with it. A lot of us struggles with mental health. Here are some advice that may help. 
A lot of students quietly suffer from mental health issues, such as depression or anxiety. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, almost 50% of high schoolers have had a mental health disorder in their lives. Lakeside counselor Ms. Tara Elder explains how to know if you're having a mental health issue that requires help. If you feel um, really stressed one day, but most days you don't feel stressed, then it's pretty normal. That's just the way, that's just normal life. You'll have stressful days and unstressful days. But if you feel stressed or anxious several days in a row or more days than not, then that would be something you would want to um, talk to somebody about. Mrs. Elzer tells us how we can get help and who we can get it from. I think most students in junior high talk to their friends about it, but it's something you would want to talk to an adult about. So your parents, the school counselor, um, the school nurse is a good one. And remember, if you feel like you're struggling with mental health, you can always talk to Miss Elzer or Miss Willis. Their door is always open. Lakeside Live will be right back after these messages. I'm Alexis. I'm Liam. And we're the main voice actors in the audio theater production Trick or Treat. We voice characters like Jessica, Rachel, and some of the neighbors. Make sure to listen to it now. <laughs> my name is Azriel. And my name is Israel. And come watch our. Oh. Come watch our. Come listen. My name is Azrael. And my name is Israel. And come listen to our golden podcast. Did you guys say it at the same time? Oh. Saint, well, come listen to our golden <laughs> My name is Azrael. And my name is Israel. And come watch. watch it. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Azrael. And my name is Israel. And come, come listen, listen to, to our, our golden, golden podcast. podcast. <laughs> <We're done. laughs> Do you have a little sibling coming to Lakeside Junior High? Are you an 8th grader thinking about what electives to take as a 9th grader? Here's a video to help guide you. Scan the QR code below to watch it. The Lakeside Robotics team was among the best in the states. Congratulations to Mr. Killingsworth and his robotics team for finishing in second place in the state of Arkansas. In second place at state allows us to, uh, we're, we're automatically qualified for Worlds. We are going to do everything we can to try and get them there because it's such an incredible opportunity for students. The Lakeside Girls basketball team finished in second place of the conference tournament. For the first time in school history, the boys basketball team finished in the top four and played in the conference tournament. Here are some highlights.
Here are some highlights from the 2023 track season. That's what's our life for today. See you next time.